Over the years, drivers have missed Formula 1 races for all sorts of reasons. But every now and then, extraordinary circumstances force someone to miss out. We've picked out 10 of the strangest situations that led drivers to sit on the sidelines during a Grand Prix weekend. Let us know in the comments which is your favourite case, and if there are any we've missed out that could top these when it comes to strange absences from F1 races. Suspended by your own team Ayrton Senna's first Formula 1 contract with Tolman was for three years, but he was never likely to stay with a team that would later become Benetton given interest from the big guns. That's why he ensured there was a £100,000 buyout clause in his contract. But while it's inevitable Senna would leave given the impression he'd made during a stellar first F1 season, which included that famous second place in the Monaco Grand Prix and third at Brands Hatch, Tolman was not happy. While Senna was free to leave, his Lotus deal covering 1985 to 1987 was not only signed, but also announced by a Team Lotus press release, apparently before he officially activated that release clause. While Senna claimed he had done so, Tolman boss Alex Hawkridge suspended him from the Italian Grand Prix as a result. Stefan Johansson replaced him and finished fourth at Monza, but Senna was back in the car for the final two races of the season, finishing third in the Estoril season finale before heading to Lotus. In prison A pre-season altercation with a London taxi driver while on his way to a sponsor event led to Bertrand Gachot losing his Jordan drive during 1991 for the understandable reason that he was in Brixton prison. Following a traffic altercation at London's Hyde Park corner with a taxi driver, Gachot used a canister of CS gas in what he argued was self-defence. After finishing ninth and setting fastest lap in the Hungarian Grand Prix, he had his day in court and was shocked to be hit with an 18-month sentence for assault and illegal possession of CS gas. Gachot eventually successfully appealed the severity of the sentence, although the conviction stood, and he was released having been in prison for four races. And of course, Gachot's brush with the law let a certain famous German make his F1 debut for Jordan at Spa. Bench to avoid grid penalty it's easy to forget that the FIA's decision to introduce a 10-place grid penalty for dangerous driving in 2002 was a controversial one given such punishments are commonplace in modern F1. But it wasn't until the 15th race of that season that the punishment was actually used. Felipe Massa was the victim, having rightly been deemed to have caused a needless collision with Jaguar driver Pedro de la Rosa after moving over on him while battling for 12th place, approaching the Ascari chicane. The result was a 10-place penalty for the next race, the United States Grand Prix at Indianapolis. What the Sauber team realised was that this penalty could be dodged if Massa didn't participate at Indianapolis. Not only did the grid drop apply only to the driver rather than the car, but it was also for the next race held rather than Massa's next appearance. The rule was subsequently clarified and now states the penalty will be applied at the driver's next event. Massa was replaced by Heinz Harald Frentzen, who was on the sidelines after Arrows dropped off the grid and set to return to Sauber full-time in 2003. Frentzen finished 13th, and Massa was back for the next race at Suzuka. Racing in the Indy 500 In the 1950s and 60s, it wasn't unheard of for big-name drivers to skip Grand Prix to contest the Indianapolis 500. Alberto Ascari missed the 1952 Swiss Grand Prix, while Jim Clark didn't race at Monaco in 1965 for that reason. Fernando Alonso revived this tradition in 2017. This was at a time when McLaren was struggling in its final year powered by Honda engines. Given the team's desire to keep its star driver happy, Zach Brown put together a deal for him to race at Indy for the crack Andretti Autosport team under the McLaren Honda Andretti banner. Alonso starred on his first attempt at the Indy 500, qualifying 5th and retiring after a Honda engine failure while running 7th. Alonso's Monaco absence meant Jensen Button was called up for one last F1 outing. He was 9th fastest in qualifying but started from the back and retired after a collision with Pascal Wehrlein. Email Mishap Bruno Senna's first season in Formula 1 with HRT in 2010 was interrupted by being suspended by the team for the British Grand Prix as a result of an email mishap. 
the struggling team needed money, and with Sakon Yamamoto offering half a million dollars per race, team principal Colin Collars was happy to give him a drive. Initially, Senna's teammate, Karun Chandok, who was bringing a fraction of that money, was told he was dropped for Silverstone, but was subsequently reinstated. This was because Senna, who was also bringing significant backing to the team, had made comments about Collars' management in an email chain that was inadvertently sent to the HRT team principal. Senna could therefore be benched for disciplinary reasons without any financial penalty, meaning three drivers brought money to participate that weekend. Things returned to normal for the next race at Hockenheim, with Senna recalled, Yamamoto continuing, and Chandok never driving for HRT again. Deliberate failure to qualify Arrows drivers Enrique Bernaldi and Heinz Harald Frentzen were instructed to miss the 107% qualifying cutoff deliberately at the 2002 French Grand Prix. After completing just a single installation lap each in practice, they set just one lap time in qualifying and did not start the race. This was because of an ongoing dispute between team boss Tom Walkinshaw and the investment bank Morgan Grenfell, which owned 45% of the team, over a potential sale. This meant Arrows had to minimise running and expenditure, while still technically participating in the event in order to avoid jeopardising its rights under the Concord Agreement. Arrows did make the next race at Hockenheim, with both drivers retiring, but then dropped off the grid. Despite ongoing attempts to sell the team, Arrows eventually closed its doors after 25 seasons in F1. Permission withdrawn Mario Andretti and Bobby Unser were two of the biggest names in American racing and were both set to make their Formula 1 race debuts in the Italian Grand Prix at Monza in 1968. Andretti had landed a Lotus ride and had helped to secure a drive in a BRM for Unser. The only problem was they had to contest the Hoosier 100 Champ Car event at the Indiana State Fairgrounds dirt track on the Saturday of the Italian Grand Prix weekend. They came up with a simple plan, practice and qualify at Monza on Thursday and Friday, fly over to the United States to race, then back again to contest the Grand Prix on Sunday in Italy. Both Team Lotus boss Colin Chapman and BRM had sought and been given exemption for their drivers from a regulation preventing them contesting the Grand Prix if they had raced elsewhere in the previous 24 hours. Andretti finished second in the Hoosier 100, with Unser retiring thanks to a broken water line. They made their flights, got what little sleep they could, and just made it to Monza on time thanks to a hair-raising drive by Andretti. But on arrival, they were told that permission had been rescinded, and the race went ahead without them. Pay dispute leads to back surgery Kimi Raikkonen had two successful seasons on track with Lotus, as the Enstone team that was previously, and subsequently, known as Renault was then called. But amid its much publicised and growing financial struggles, Raikkonen was owed a substantial sum of money thanks to a contract that paid €50,000 per point. He was owed an eight-figure sum, and the ongoing dispute over payment reached a head when Raikkonen decided to miss the final two races of the season for back surgery. This followed him only deciding to race in the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix late on, having threatened to pull out. While he did indeed have surgery, which was the result of damage done in a testing crash at Manicor when driving for Sauber back in 2001, it could have waited until the end of the season. His absence was all about the long-standing lack of payments. Fellow Finn Heike Kovalainen was called up as Raikkonen's replacement, but failed to score a point in either the United States or Brazilian Grand Prix. Raikkonen, meanwhile, had long since signed for Ferrari for 2014, so didn't look back. Unable to fit in the car Nigel Mansell had missed a few races before in odd circumstances, the 1980 United States Grand Prix thanks to having to give up his car after Mario Andretti damaged his Lotus in a crash in Canada, and two races for Williams in 1988 owing to chickenpox. But most famously, he skipped the first two races of 1995 for McLaren because he didn't fit in the car. During pre-season testing, Mansell complained about struggling to fit in the car and was unable to complete anything other than short runs. McLaren opted to design and build a wider chassis, with test driver Mark Blundell filling in at the Brazilian and Argentinian Grand Prix. Mansell was also far from happy with the handling and performance of the car, so when he did make his return, it lasted just two races before he and McLaren agreed to part company. Playing tennis on a motorbike? 
After the first two races of his short-lived McLaren career, Juan Pablo Montoya sat out the next two following what was officially a tennis accident that left him with a hairline fracture in his shoulder. At the time, there were widespread rumours that the cause was not tennis-based misadventure, but a motorbike accident. Who knows, perhaps he was doing both. When he returned for the Spanish Grand Prix, having been replaced first by Pedro de la Rosa and then Alex Wurtz, he was forced to deny the claims in a press conference. But the motorbike accident remains something of an open secret, with team principal Ron Dennis saying after Montoya left the team in the middle of the following season that he understood what happened, but did not even bother to repeat the tennis explanation. Even Montoya's explanations have become far gentler over the years, so while there has never been any official confirmation, most agree that it probably was a motorised mishap. Well, those are our choices, and it was certainly an enjoyable challenge to get it down to just 10, with incidents like Jacques Lafitte missing the 1975 United States Grand Prix after mistaking visor cleaner for contact lens fluid, and Martin Brundle being disqualified from the Monaco Grand Prix weekend for missing the Weybridge. So we're keen to hear which ones you would have included in the comments. If you enjoyed our rundown, make sure you hit like and also subscribe so you don't miss anything from the race. And remember to strike the notifications bell if you want to know the second there's something new to watch.